Hello, and welcome to Dish Shelved with Adam White. This week I'm going to talk about author Robert Lorry. Uh, he wrote books in the 60s and 70s. Uh, I have just have tried to pick out some authors that I think deserve a little run time on uh, BookTube that don't get noticed as much. Um, it's not exactly a project. It's just kind of something I'm doing off and on. Uh, I did Clifford D. Simak last time, and uh, this time I'm going to do Robert Lorry. The first exposure I had of him was A Harvest of Hoodwinks. Uh, I talked about this on a video a couple weeks ago. I really enjoyed it. It's a book of short stories, and there was a couple in here that were just knockouts, just really good short stories, and so I thought, I want to switch and uh, go to his novels and and see what I can come up with there. Uh, the first one that I read was on uh, my Kindle, so I don't have a picture of it, but it was called 13 Bracelets. Uh, let me issue a content warning on it. If you are really sensitive to uh, racism and stuff like that, you may want to give this one a pass. Um, Robert Lorry's not racist. He was using... It, the book is about a bunch of people, and pretty much everybody in the book is racist against everybody else. And he was doing it as a point that, um, and this was written in 1974, but it could apply just the same today, that um, if we don't watch out what we're doing here in the U.S., this is the kind of future we could end up with where everybody's racist against everybody else and it's all taken to the extreme. And that was what he was doing with it in there. But it it was it it took a while for me to realize what was going on. I was just like, wow, there's some really racist things in here. But it's he's doing it on purpose because he wants you to see what kind of world we could live in. It's also a parody, like a satire of spy novels. It's a satire of post-apocalyptic novels. It's a satire of government. Uh, it's a satire of the United States. Uh, it's by the time I finished it, I was really, I was, I was into it by the time I finished it. I was like, okay, I really, I get what he's doing here. Uh, it, it seems kind of, uh, shocking at the beginning, but, uh, once you get to the end, you realize what he's doing because like I said, everybody's got something being made fun of them about uh nobody is is safe in in this novel 13 bracelets and uh the plot is almost secondary to the to the themes in it and what he's trying to get across now so that was a pretty good book it it was uh but like I said if if you're sensitive to to racist stuff you might want to skip it, but um, like I said, he, he's making a point, and um, it's a very valid point, especially with the way things are in the United States right now, and how everybody's against everybody else, and you know, just there is so much racism and hate uh, that I thought that he made a really important point with this book. So that was a good book, 13 Bracelets. Next book I want to talk about is The Eyes of Bolsk. It is a story about uh, a guy that, I believe it's Jared Kane. Um, he is plucked out of his uh, spot on Earth He's a like a secret agent kind of guy, and he's tasked with doing a mission on another planet by these galactic um, people that control everything that's going on. And anytime they deem something going on that's bad enough to affect, you know, the galaxy 
they get somebody that can do it and give them a choice as to whether they want to do it or not. And usually the choice is no choice at all, given the situations they're in when they get picked. But I don't want to say a whole lot about the plot because it's only 90 pages long. You can read it in an afternoon. Uh, but it was a science fiction novel wrapped in the trappings of a fantasy novel that were wrapped in the trans in the uh, trappings of another science fiction novel, if that makes any sense. If you read it, you'll understand why why I say that. Because it's, it is science fiction, but he goes to like a fantasy world, and then you end up with the science fiction angle again, and it is really entertaining. Um, he does a lot in 90 pages, uh, it's really strange. Um, I love the cover, which for a while I didn't know what it had to do with the book, but then later on in the book, you find out what, it, what it is you're seeing here. But, uh, I love the cover to the book. Uh, there is supposedly a sequel to this. Um, can't remember off the top of my head what the name of it is, but I've got it on my Kindle. So I'm definitely planning on reading it. Uh, it's like the eyes of Ur tracks or something like that, or no, not eyes. It's something else. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I've got it on my Kindle. I plan on reading it, but this was a really good book. Really entertaining. Like I said, very short. So you can get through it in an afternoon. Um, you do have to get it in a secondhand copy. This is a first edition. It's also got The Space Barbarians by Mac Reynolds, which I plan on reading. Uh, it's an ace double. But I got it mainly for this because I wanted The Eyes of Bolsk uh, from Robert Lorry. So it's a really good book. Uh, the next one I want to talk about, which is actually the first one I read, are Masters of the Lamp. Now, this book blew me away. I love this book. Uh, it's actually the ace double with the Harvest of Hoodwinks. Uh, it absolutely is gonzo science fiction. It's about a, a, an agent for uh, an interplanetary organization that does spying and assassinations and things like that. And... He goes on a mission uh, to a planet that is filled with religious cults. And, I mean, it's just he, he the strange aliens he deals with. Uh, his name's Shamrike Odell. Uh, and he just, it's just gonzo. It's really, it's really fun. It's a funny book. It's, uh really strange science fiction. I really loved it. I don't want to say a whole lot about it. It's, it's not a super long book either. It's longer than Eyes of Bolsk, but, um, I really enjoyed it. And, and if you can find a copy of this and get it, uh, I, I don't think I paid very much for this, but you get the Harvest of Hoodwinks and the Masters of the Lamp. I'd really recommend getting this Ace Double because it's worth tracking down and worth the money for it. Because, like I said, it wasn't that expensive. But Shamrock Odell is a great character. Uh, very entertaining. Uh, always seems to get into trouble <laughs> like a good agent would. And uh, just absolutely a fantastic novel by Robert Lorre. I really enjoyed Masters of the Lamp. Uh, you'll, you'll see why it's called that when you read it, uh, send a spy to find a God. That's basically one of the things that goes on in this book. They find, he finds a supposed God and it's just a really, really entertaining story. You just sit back. There's lots of action uh, great science fiction, great aliens, a great story, just 
fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I can't highly recommend this enough. And The Harvest of Hoodwinks was a fantastic short story collection. So you can't go wrong with this book. I highly, highly recommend Gets my highest possible recommendation. Now, some of the other things that Robert Laurie did, I haven't read yet, but, but he wrote a series of Dracula novels where um, I think someone controls like a stake that's near Dracula's heart and they force him into doing like secret agent type stuff uh, as even though he's Dracula. And he wrote a whole series of novels about it. But the first one, which I think is called Dracula Returns, I have it on my Kindle, but I haven't read it yet because I'm afraid that I'm going to like it. And the other ones you are like, you can't get them on Kindle and they're really expensive to get, you know, the original paperback. So I'm holding off on that one for now, but it sounds really good. And it was apparently a really popular series because it ran for quite a while. There was probably 10 or 12 novels of it. Um, there's also, he did a, a horror scope, another great cover here. Uh, this is the Green Flames of Ares. Uh, there's a whole thing, and it's all based around a horoscope. And um, I'm planning on reading it. Uh, this is the only one I've got because most of them are really expensive, too. This one I found cheap. It's actually the first one in the series. Uh, so at least I got that. But uh, the others are really expensive, so I'll have to wait until I can find a deal on those. Uh, and then I also have uh, The Veiled World, uh, which is the sequel to um, The Masters of the Lamp. And this is a Shamrock Odell novel, and it's the only other one of him. Uh, there was only two in the series, which is a shame because I really love that book. So I'm really looking forward to The Veiled World. Uh Shamrock Odell, like I said, is just a fantastic character. Another fantastic cover. Uh, this is also an ace double. Uh, a. Bertram Chandler, The Hard Way Up. Um, I don't know much about it, but I'll, I guarantee I'll read it because all these ace doubles that I'm reading, I'm just finding fantastic stuff in it. And it's amazing that so much good science fiction was put out. And, and like I said, he does... He does horror too, and uh, and satire, and I mean, he just does all sorts of stuff. Uh, but The Veiled World is, like I said, a Shamrock Odell novel, and I'm really looking forward to reading it because I really love The Masters of the Lamp. So you can't go wrong with Robert Laurie. He's a fantastic author. Uh, I'd never heard of him until I got that Harvest of Hoodwinks and an Ace Double. And, uh, I really, really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed everything of his that I read. He's got lots more books, so I've got plenty to read coming up. Uh, next time, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for next time yet. Uh, I've got two different things I'm thinking about. But, uh, I really just, um, like I said, want to give some... Uh, some love to some some authors and some books that don't you don't hear about a lot, and uh, I think Robert Lorry is someone like I said that I'd never heard of, but I think he writes fantastic books and short stories, and I think you'll really enjoy him too. So, thanks for hanging out with me this week, and uh, I I know I'm getting these out a little. It seems like I'm doing it a little bit better than when I was doing it weekly. Now that I'm not on any type of schedule, but I'm just reading through books and, and talking about them. I've decided just to kind of make this a recommendation video uh, series. Uh, I, when I first started out, I was trying to do uh, really in-depth reviews of it. And you can see over the course of my videos that they just kind of devolved into a here's what I read and you should read it too kind of thing. So I decided to embrace that and just say, hey, here's some books you might enjoy because I enjoyed reading them. So that, that's kind of what I'm doing now. And uh, Robert Laurie, great author, 
fantastic books. You'll really like him, uh, especially this Masters of the Lamp and Harvest of Hoodwinks. If you start anywhere, start with those because you'll really, really enjoy them. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you when I see you.